of this I am commanded and I'm of those who submit. O oh Allah, thou art the king and there is no God but thee. Thou art my Lord and I am thy servant. I have been greatly unjust to myself and I confess my faults. So please grant me protection against all my faults. For none can grant me protection against all my faults but thee. And guide me into the best of morals. For none can guide me into the best of morals but thee. And turn away from me the evil and indecent morals. For none can turn away from me the evil and indecent morals but thee. O oh Allah, make Muhammad successful. And make the true followers of Muhammad successful. Here in the wilderness of North America. As thou did make Abraham and the true followers of Abraham successful. For surely thou art praised and magnified. O oh Allah, bless Muhammad. And bless the true followers of Muhammad. Here in the wilderness of North America, as thou did bless Abraham and the true followers of Abraham, for surely thou art praised and magnified in our midst. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah who came in person, the person, the only person. Master for Rao Muhammad. I bear witness that he raised up one from among us to oversee us, to guide us in his absence. I speak of none other than the most humble and honorable Elijah Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. In the name of Allah, the light, the illuminating master of this day of requital, for Muhammad al Mahdi, that man of war. See, it's a whole lot of talk of war and rumors of war. So we should expect Mahdi today. We should expect the Lord, the man of war, during a time of war. Yeah, this is a great war. Such a war as this. There is no room for negotiations. There is no room for atonement. Such a war as this removes an entire people off the face of the planet without having nothing to discuss. Been talking for 6,000 years. A lot is ready to move. A lot is in person. A lot is in position to move. In the name of his messenger, he who was given clear arguments with scriptures, the Elijah of the poison book Bible and the real Muhammad, of the illuminating book, Holy Quran, the most humble and honorable Elijah Muhammad. I bear witness that these two men, Allah and his messenger, are the two guiding lights, the true guiding lights of the true believers, the few believers throughout this wilderness called North America. The few who hold fast to what Elijah teaches and he teaches that in this day of confusion the most darkened hour that his followers his true followers would be able to fit in the taxi cab 
you ask the question on this board here. That question is followed by what is called an interrogation point. A question mark. The question. Which one will survive the war of Armageddon? See, that question marks the point of action because in deciding is action. In deciding is motion. The black man in America, indecisive. He's clueless. He's as the question mark on the board because at that point of interrogation, right after the question is put forth, we are on pause, stuck at the beginning of the time stamp. But time is calculated by motion. If you're not in motion, then you're not making time. If you're not making time, you're not making history. If you fail to make history, hmm, it'll be as if you've never existed. What is time? Time is the only nexus by which life and death are not only joined, but also separated. Holy Quran 35. 19 and the blind and the seeing are not alike nor the darkness and the light nor the shade and the heat all of us are living but not all of us can see those of us without vision cannot distinguish the darkness from the light. This lack of understanding has some of us in immense heat caused by the brink of fire where we stand. But we only stand because we cannot see. Time connects all living things on this physical plane of existence. Yet that same time disconnects us individually in our death. From point A to point B. That short moment of time between life and death. Are you taking advantage or taking for granted the time? Are you making history? Will you leave? Hmm? Will you leave your mark? Leave your mark. That's motion. Will you leave your mark? Begin your time stamp and show and prove your existence. Life in the hereafter does not mean die physically today, then be born again physically tomorrow. The life in the hereafter is only a continuation of the present life. Because time remains in motion. Are you in motion? Are you making time? Will you act at the point of interrogation? Decide. Leave your mark and journey forth. Allah left his mark in the east. He journeyed west. For the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house 
and gave authority to his servants and to every man his work and commanded. Uh, uh, he's a man of war and commanded the porter to watch. Now that's Mark. Huh? I said that's Mark 13. What is a porter, though? A porter is a doorman. A porter is a person stationed at a door or gate to admit or assist those entering. Allah left his home in the east and took a 9,000 mile journey west to raise his porter, to raise his doorman, to raise that person. Hmm? He was stationed at the door or the gate of the hereafter. That person who would assist the others of his kind by teaching them a thorough knowledge of themselves, their God, the time and what must be done at that time. And that they be admitted into the hereafter. W.F. Muhammad came to North America by himself. He raised Elijah from the mud of society, from a pool of ignorance, called him Muhammad after himself, and told him to watch. Watch over those whom he gave authority, and every other man gave he their work or their part. Instruction was given from the Son of Man to his porter, to watch over the nation that porter is to raise and assist. See, that's love. That's trust. That's honor. It's not an internet game. A lot in his messenger, the two guiding lights the two headlights hmm, on the taxi cab in which are seated the true followers of Allah through his messenger, but leading to he himself. Assalamu alaikum. The prophets have warned us of a time that will come when God would judge and destroy the wicked and give the earth over to the rule of a righteous people. If the earth is to be given to a people, then that people isn't already in possession of it. If the earth is to be given to the righteous, then the earth must be possessed then the earth must be completely controlled by the evil of the wicked. The earth would be given, but first, the earth must be taken. Anyone in possession of anything that isn't quite ready to let it go or have no desire at all to give it up will put up a struggle to keep possession of it. See, this is behavior. It's activity. It's to be expected, but recognize the behavior. The wicked rule the earth. Dissatisfaction has reached such a percentage under that rule that a change must come. A shift in power is essential in that change. Because corruption is universal. Because those corrupted by the corruption 
are universally dissatisfied, then a universal war will be fought to bring about that change. The time, so teaches messenger Elijah Muhammad, of the past 6,000 years ruled by the white race has been the worst of our known history. A time of complete troublemaking, war, bloodshed, and death of both the righteous and the wicked as never before. The black man in America is now suffering under the falsehood of his enemies while truth is being sounded in his ears. He sees the evidence of it with his eyes, yet he would like it a lie. See, these are words of the messenger. They sound unfamiliar to most because most sit up under ministers who don't give them the messenger. And the blind and the seen are not alike. The blind are they who see shapes and colors but can't see God and devil. They see conflict and confusion but are yet stagnant and indecisive. The seeing are those who accept truth for truth. The seeing are those who are considered the people of the book who the messenger of Allah has come to making clear to us much of that which was concealed of the book and passed over much. Holy Quran 5. The book says, Indeed, there has come to you from Allah a light and a clear book whereby Allah guides such as follow his pleasure into the ways of peace and brings them out of darkness into light by his will and guides them to the right path. Your pastor didn't reveal who Adam was in the Genesis nor did he Identify the seed of Abraham. Your pastor didn't reveal the time according to the Bible. So you are confused on what must be done during this time. He passed over Elijah and his role during this time. Though the book says that Elijah would come just before the end of this time. It is up to you, so says Messenger Elijah Muhammad. He said it is up to you to listen. And as you listen, read and remember. What did Malachi instruct? Malachi said, remember the law of Moses, which the God commanded unto him with the statutes and judgments. We got to listen to read and remember the law of Moses and that which God commanded unto him with the statutes and judgments, because in those writings, Moses prophesies of a future man whom the God would raise. Deuteronomy 18. The Lord thy God will raise unto thee a prophet. From the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me, Moses, unto him ye shall hear. And the Lord said in verse 18, I like that number 18. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, Moses, and will put my words in his mouth. And he shall speak unto them. All that I shall command him. Allah, the Lord of the worlds. 
no associate has he. Of this am I commanded. This Lord is a commander. Why? Because this Lord is a man of war. So says Exodus 15. This Lord is a man of war. And we got to let that sit in for a minute. Because we hear of rumors of wars. And we see clearly wars going on. I mean, like active live conflicts. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. The day of the Lord is what we, the Muslims, refer to as the days of Allah. This means that Allah God is present and he is laying a foundation for a new government, a government of peace and security for the righteous, a government that will not be left to the scholars and scientists of this wicked world. Lest the scholars and scientists of this world try and build the same thing that they have already built, for they do not have the knowledge to build anything different. Got a lot of wicked ones out here. Devil and air likes. Who have set up governments. And are now, just like America, go around and force their governments on others. This is what the wicked does. Hmm? But see, in that new world, under the rule of righteousness, see, a government of peace and security for the righteous, a government that will not be left to the scholars and scientists of this wicked world. Hmm? Lest the scholars and scientists of this world try and build the same thing that they have already built. The only know one way. What makes what you got supreme? Who told you that? Oh, God gave you something. Okay. Surely these love. Hmm? Surely these love the life and neglect a grievous day before them. We talking about those who have eyes but can't see. That's the only way you can neglect a grievous day that is before you. You lack understanding. We created them and made firm their make. And when we will, so says Allah, we can bring in their place the like of them by change. Holy Quran 76. See, this life is a life short lived, temporary. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he know that he have but a short time. Revelation 12 and 12. See, the devil knows that he has but a short time, so he's acting out with great wrath. <laughs> so you got devils, and then you got real devils. He knows he has but a short time. So there's just drama. 
slander, gossip. Not only is the devil's rule short, but also his life expectancy. We are at the end of his 6,000 years of allotted rulership and at the end of his time on our planet. He was given just 6,000 years of respite. That's borrowed time. Borrowed time from the original man. Those who love this short moment of time Called life heavily influenced by the wicked don't realize that that lifestyle too will be short lived and will die with the wicked influencer TikTok, Xbox, Prada and his slingshots that we see on the freeway his culture his way of life is what distracts you. His way of life causes you to neglect a grievous day before you. This grievous day is said to be a great and dreadful day. The day that Allah offers safety, refuge through his messenger, the porter, the doorkeeper, the most humble and honorable Elijah Muhammad. The messenger who is sent to prepare the way before the Lord's wrath for that great and dreadful day of the Lord. Elijah is to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the heart of the children to their fathers. If Elijah is to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, then the hearts of the fathers must be preoccupied. If the hearts of the children must be turned to their fathers, then the hearts of the children too must be preoccupied. The white man's world of sport and play, the white man's world of deception and distraction, has caused a great disconnection between the fathers and their children. Elijah must make that reconnection before that grievous day that the father and the children both neglect. We created them, Allah says, and made firm their make. This is great power. And great influence, influential in scholarship and scientific discoveries the world over, influential in governance and pop culture, which has expired. These are now the days of the change of worlds. Since the time of the God of evil and his people, the wicked are up. The God of righteousness. Hmm? The God of righteousness is now taking his place to reign. And he will not accept those of us who are unrighteous. He can't claim those of us who are undecided expect a change in name today oh lord hear oh lord forgive oh lord listen and take action for your own sake oh my god omg do not delay because your city and your people are called by your name. See, that's today. This is happening in your midst. Expect a 
change in name. Expect a change in direction, a change in behavior, a change in diet, a change in mind. Expect a full and complete change. The book says the wicked was made firm their make, so much so that the God of righteousness, the man of war, is the only one who was able to make war with them and ultimately remove them and bring in their place a firm people, but a righteous people by a full and complete change. Our Savior has arrived. The messenger writes, just remember how evil has made you. It has made you foolish and ignorant to the knowledge of good. And you make mockery of good and you worship evil. This is why the Bible calls you blind, deaf, and dumb, even in your bow tie. Just remember how evil has made you. It has made you foolish. Come among us with foolish tactics and games and mockery. And we really trying to get some work done. We're not thinking about you. Why keep showing up? I thought you were unaffiliated with us. Why are there still being... Uh, Friend requests being sent to the men and the women. Why are there fake pages being made? Because you're foolish and ignorant. You make mockery of good and you worship evil. This is why the Bible calls you, Mr. Bota, blind, deaf, and dumb. He continues. Spiritually, you cannot see and distinguish truth from falsehood. And you are not interested enough in the truth to listen to it. And you are not capable of speaking the language of truth and you do not practice righteous intelligence. All of this was done to you and me by the white race who were not created and made righteous. Therefore, they taught us that which is of themselves, evil. Slavery is evil. Causing suffering is evil. Unlawfully causing the death of is evil. They deceive and distract us with evil. I mean, they deceive us with evil. Fake pages. They deceive us with evil. White Jesus in the pictures. And the, they deceive us with evil. They engineer food to taste good, but it kills you. That's deception at its finest. We've been reared up in the sin of the white man who is the man of sin that our very hearts now are preoccupied with evil. Porn addiction. Hmm? People don't really like getting personal now, huh? Porn addiction. Drug addiction. Alcoholism. Gambling. Lying. Envy. Hatred. And every other manner of uncleanliness. Elijah assists the black family, the black nation, with the renewal of the heart. And that we may be made fit, granted admittance, into the hereafter. 
This is the day where truth and falsehood would clash and make a loud noise. This space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today. The clashing of opinion as two men clash swords. Swore time. The God raised one. He put his words in the mouth of the one he raised. He made a messenger to tell us what the God said to him. The law of truth was in his mouth. And iniquity was not found in his lips. The book says, he walked with me in peace and equity and did turn many away from iniquity. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. He is the messenger of the Lord, a man of war. Elijah has come, black man. That man of war is present. How long halt ye now between two opinions? Elijah wants to know which one of these two flags will survive the ongoing war of Armageddon? Will you accept truth and live or maintain evil and die? Remember ye the law of Moses because the truth of that law would be in the mouth of Elijah, that man like Moses. Nor is the darkness and the light alike. The darkness covers while the light reveals. Darkness and light, two opinions, two choices. To remain in darkness and reject the light or leave from darkness and enter the light. Some of us chose light. They return to darkness while walking backwards, crashing in the walls, unable to find their way again. As if they were smitten with blindness by the death angels at the house door of Lot, they wearied themselves to find the door. Some of us turn back as did the wife of Lot. The book says that as the cities were being overthrown by the death angels, she looked back from behind him and she became a pillar of salt. That's Bible. But the Holy Quran says it like this. They said, O Lot, we are the messengers of thy Lord. The men of the city shall not reach thee. So travel with thy people for a part of the night. And let none of you turn back except thy wife. Surely, whatever befalls them shall befall her. Surely their appointed time is the morning. It's not the morning nigh. See Allah, God, Master Farah Muhammad. See, he's the Lord of the dawn. It's not morning nigh. It goes on to say, so when our decree came to pass, we turned them upside down and rained on them stones as decreed one after another. Marked for punishment with thy Lord, and it is not far off from the wrong doors. See? We're on the brink of fire right now. And niggas still can't find 
their way. The history of the Twin City, Sodom and Gomorrah, is to be a repeated history. Or at least be parallel to a future nation. That future nation being the United States of America. Let's just get to it. Jesus said, likewise, also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat. They drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built it. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. This is a miracle. As the people of America are apathetic, unconcerned, just moving about through society. The culture of the American white man is sport and play, which causes you to neglect a grievous day. Jesus said, I tell you, in that night. There shall be two men in one bed. If that ain't the day. I tell you in that night. There shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. He said two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. And they answered. And said unto him, Where, Lord? And he said unto them, Wheresoever the body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. That's America. That's today. Homosexuality is the order of the day throughout this darkened wilderness. The LGBTQ has established laws than the raised flag. Now, the rainbow isn't powerful enough to war with the star and the crescent. But the rainbow flag is only a sub flag of the American flag. But the American flag powers and backs the rainbow. This is just another flag flying the skies of America. Used to block out the natural light of Allah as we walk through the valley under their shadow of death. All of their shadows. But Jesus said, whatsoever the body is, there will the eagles be gathered together. He said this in Luke. In Matthew, he said, for whatsoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. So the body and carcass are interchangeable while the eagles, hmm? while the eagles are yet gathered together. Those eagles are states. They are gathered states or united states built on the back of the black man and his woman. The black nation is now no more than a carcass as they fed off of us and became rich and powerful. The son of man comes from the east, not from the sky. He comes from the right side of this board. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shine even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. In between these two flags represents 9,000 miles. The Son of Man was revealed July 4th, 1930 in the west, the western hemisphere, the United States of America. For whatsoever the carcass is, there 
will the seal of their nation be united as one as the seal of the white man's United States of America is the bald eagle. He's on time. He's in real time. He's the Lord, a man of war, and it's wartime. There will be no atoning. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye not be troubled, for all of these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. That's Jesus again. The wars and rumors of wars that we are instructed to not become troubled by, these are battles inside of the actual war, the great war, World War Three. Or the war of Armageddon. These battles must take place before the cross and the crescent clash on American soil. The son of man is in command. He's guiding all things and all people into position. Qualify yourself. For positions that await you black man. In your own nation. The son of man has left his house. Or place of origin. He took a far 9,000 mile journey. He gave positions of authority to laborers of Islam. His servants. He gave to every man his work or assignment. Upon his departure. From among us just three and one half years later. He gave control of the kingdom to his gatekeeper, his messenger, the most humble and honorable Elijah Muhammad. Indeed, there has come to you from Allah a light and a clear book whereby Allah guides such as follow his pleasure into the ways of peace and brings them out of darkness into light by his will and guides them to the right past the light that has come to us from Allah is the messenger of Allah the most humble and honorable Elijah Muhammad the book is made clear because the messenger was given the clear arguments by a line person he is the guy he is MACD he guides us through this time of trouble we follow his way towards peace. This is motion. This is activity. This is a continuation of movement. We are brought out of darkness into the light of truth where we can continue on an illuminated path leading the right way. The living and the dead are not alike. Surely Allah makes whom he pleases here. And thou canst not make those here who are in graves. See? Just because you wear a suit and a tie. Or a suit and a bow tie. Doesn't mean you're not dead in the graveyard of your mind. So you can show up to the temple, slide out, you know, take a 30 minute smoke break and return like uh, the fruit is the best. This is the day of confusion. The heads of states, the heads of churches and of mass jizz, the heads of temples are confused today. You have ministers now who were exiled from grafted nations who still defended that trick knowledge on meshes boards while in exile. Oh, this minister was still convinced even while in exile. 
How much of that trick knowledge did he actually forget? About how much did he hold on to? Well, we know you makes a lot. We know you say God gave you something. We know you're doing business as Muhammad Temple 18. We know the date of fouling was the same day you sent the text to uh, your temple members to unaffiliate themselves with 18. Hmm? So you're unaffiliated with 18, which is Cleveland, but you're doing business as Muhammad Temple 18, but you're in Atlanta, not Cleveland. Are all y'all on the same page down there with that play? Mm -hmm. You mentioned the opinion of the street nigga. How does your street niggas feel about that? Mm -hmm. See, the honorable boy Elijah Muhammad teaches us that hiding the truth takes away confidence, trust, and love. See? I mean, do they know about that? Is everybody on board? See, this only gives credence to my identifying you as a sneaky self-styled leader with his own agenda. And for the record, being born in the hood doesn't necessarily or automatically classify nor certify you as a street nigga. To be street, one must be politically and economically active in the folk ways of the streets. Being grown but allowing 14 or 7 year olds to lead you to your one and only crime doesn't meet those qualifications. Your penitentiary homies. Were they talkers or were they takers? Were they tough or were they timid? Before coming into the light, I sold boxes of cigarettes and weed on the wire. What were they doing? Why do you pit them against me? Because you're a troublemaker. The scripture says, don't be troubled. And I know the best way to engage a narcissist is to disengage. But he's thinking about me. We are warned to not be troubled. Not that there wouldn't be trouble. Not that there wouldn't be a trouble maker. We are just warned to just, you know, not be troubled by the, the fruit fly. 2010, I went back back into the penitentiary, the same penitentiary that I was paroled from and spoke to over 150 men with fruit. When was the last time you even visited somebody in the penitentiary? Do you even know anybody in the penitentiary? We did Cleveland on the move across town at your uh, civil rights homeboys building. Your fruit and assistant saw a brother pull over, jump out his truck, and greet me with a smile and a handshake. I know him from the joint. You ever had a situation like that with anybody you say you know from the joint? Were they suited and booted when, you know, someone that they knew from the joint jumped out? We on St. Clair. From what? From the streets to the joint to the temple, I'm good. Where you good at? Other than behind your podium. I mean, he just be thinking about me. You know, like, why you worried about? Whether or not I have transportation. Did you look good enough in the driveway? Did you even get out of the car? Did anyone out of the house even come greet you? What do you really think you know? 
There's a garage back there. Did you look through the garage? Don't concern yourself with me. I'm not temple property. How about your assistant, though? Is he walking or is he riding? I mean, in his own car, not the bus. You know, it's as hot as that Arabian desert in Georgia. I said, is he walking or is he riding? You know, you got these ministers, you know, they big flex and not. You're bragging on that 7,200. You could have took just a thousand of that. Match your assistance thousand. Let him go get him a car. So he ain't got to walk in that Georgia heat. By the time he get back with his subway sandwich, it's all soggy because he done sweated profusely all through the bag. I mean, do they realize what time it is? Nah. Nah, he ain't torn between ministers nor temples. That ain't what I said and that ain't what I meant. Don't make it that simple. Don't make it that easy. Homie want to go home. <laughs> Away from you. Away from nothing. He in need therapy and a hug after you. I, I, I seriously doubt if he reports to any temple out after you. Minister's talking about money now. Hmm? See, the scripture says, truly, the light is sweet and the pleasant thing it is for the eyes to behold the sun. But if a man live many years and rejoice in them all, yet let him remember the days of darkness. For they shall be many. All that cometh is vanity. You spent eight years in that band, though. Remember that? What was Clarence? Hit drills. Hit drills in that band, though, with you. Me and my fruit from Cleveland. Now, I mean, you know, you got ministers talking money now. You know, they were so far down in the mud yesterday that you couldn't find them living in abandoned buildings with no running water, no car. Now it's all about big flexing. You're going to crash fast. A lies guiding this. Savior's Day 2013, Cleveland. It was Cleveland's fruit. Who hit the ATM and ran you that $200? How you getting back to Atlanta, brother minister? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Nigga don't never know nothing these days. Cleveland got you home. And then you stand there and disrespect us like that? You think the lie's pleased with you? You were handed $200 in front of your then New York City assistant and your now assistant in Atlanta. I can never be you at the dinner table. You want to get petty and childish. Hmm? I could never be you at the dinner table. I ain't got no holes in my socks underneath the table. Nor is my bow tie subject to fall off onto my plate. I don't need to be you at the dinner table. I enjoy chewing my food. Do you? The temple is whatever the believers are. Breeding and meat. What you mean imaginary? When the temple was established at your home. Was it imaginary then? Oh, I guess not, because it was your home and God gave you something. Were temple meetings at the house in Decatur imaginary? Are your temple members 
imaginary. Seeing as though they only watch from the comfort of their sofas. Huh? We have a troublemaker 20 miles outside of the nation of Islam. He makes trouble. He makes men who makes trouble. You're so unaffiliated with us, the believers in Cleveland, how you put it. Yet you're sending page following advice to the believers in Cleveland, to the men and the women, fake pages and picture comments, childish and petty. I mean, are you 61, 16, or 6? Troublesome. Trying to figure out ways to bust me without a counsel. And you know that ain't protocol. So now you will probably claim that you never even made me a minister. <laughs> Though I was made in the same fashion that you were made. Troublesome. Farrakhan student minister laughed at you for having a job right in your face, but you still say he's your dude. You know, that one from down in Atlanta. You tell the whole world, I ain't got no job. I ain't no minister. I ain't your dude. So I guess that's why you were able to take a woman's word over even hearing mine, something you said you would never do to your dude, but it's okay because I'm not your dude and I'm okay with not being your dude. That's what you need to realize. I mean, you blast me for not having a job, but then you don't, okay. I'm going to war with the white man. No, you're going to work for the white man. You're going to protect the white man. You're going to protect the property of the white man. Let a nigga get stupid. Let one of your internet enemies get stupid. You will blow the brain out his head with the pistol of the white man. On the white man's property to protect the white man as you go to work for the white man, not war with, but work for the goddamn white man. Imaginary temple. No, imaginary war. Huh? Imaginary war with your very real employer, the white man. You in that war with no one but yourself. You hate yourself. You said it yourself. But no narcissist loves themselves. In your textbook, narcissistic. You hate your short legs. You hate your ashy, gray little hands. Huh? You hate your black skin. And that's why you prefer all lighter skinned assistants. You have four. Huh? And trying to get the fifth one up there now. I mean, but I know, talk black to me. See, Minister Khalid Abdul Bahamid was blue black, though. He was like, shame black. Blacker than a thousand midnights. But you, you got like a little gray hue to you. You don't look too authentic. You don't, you don't fall in that type of line. You have a like a like a dry grayish hue. Like your shoes. So we might have to talk gray to you. But you don't talk to nobody outside of YouTube. You rather talk to Palestinians and so-called Jews on YouTube rather than the black man who hang out in the plaza's parking lot of the temple. But I know Palestine is a criminal settler colony. Damn. 
Kali lives. <laughs> How will he feel about the current climate that you created? How would he feel about you doing business as Muhammad Temple 18 when you're supposed to be minister of Temple 15 only? How would he feel knowing that no one else knew? How would he feel seeing as though he was exiled from the same grafted nation as you for injustices and crookedness such as this? But I digress. And the blind and the seen are not alike, nor the darkness and the light, nor the shade and the heat. Neither are the living and the dead alike. Surely Allah hmm, makes whom he pleases here. And thou cannot make those here who are in graves. They die without understanding. Don't die in ignorance today, black man. Elijah was raised by Allah and given the proof and the keys. He's the doorman, the porter, told to watch. He was given the final message that would save your life before life as we know it ends all around us. This is the taxi cab era. <coughs> See, today, the followers of Messenger Elijah Muhammad can fit inside a taxi cab. But it's to be expected. These are days that are parallel to the days of old. The days of the Son of Man. Are a lot like the days of Lot. Listen. Read. Remember. Only a few. Left out with Lot. Just a few. But fear not. Little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure. To give you the. Kingdom. See. Luke 12 It's your father's good pleasure Your father The true and living God Allah The son of another man He gave us light And the clear book The clear book corrects The poison book The poison book is the Bible The Bible is poison Because the white man Tampered with it with his filthy, guilty hands. He corrupted the book. If the truth of the book be told. If the truth of the book be taught and understood. The world over. Palestine and Israel would not be warring. Over that land. If the truth of the Bible be taught and received. Then we'll accept and expect. The son of man, the son of a man, and not a spook. If we accept truth, then we accept the coming of God as a man, and we accept the raising up of his messenger, the man like Moses, Elijah. That's light on light. Though they didn't touch for 40 years. Hmm? The two headlights. Guiding the taxi cab of the little flock of Elijah. All oh, praises due to Allah for the honorable Elijah Muhammad. The Holy Quran only becomes illuminated when proper understanding is obtained from its pages. Only Allah knows its true meaning, so teaches its pages. And Allah came as the guide, Mahdi. As its pages also teach. The lies the light. He gifted us a light, his messenger. And with proper understanding of the time and the pages, 
Allah has gifted us a lit book in the Holy Quran. The only authority Messenger Elijah Muhammad said Allah sent him with. Black man, there's a message to you from Elijah. Get this book. Message to the black man in America. Hear truth. Listen, read, and remember. The indecisive one. You are the nexus between life and death. To stand still is to lose time, though. To stand still is to make no history. I mean, you're making no time. Allah, his messenger, light on light, but not touching. A nation within a nation, but still not touching. It's the day of separation. Separation on all accounts. But unity where it counts. Pressing forward on behalf of Messenger Elijah Muhammad for the city of Cleveland, Ohio. Those who have decided aren't asked the question a second time. This question is for the indecisive. But don't tarry too long, black man. The great war is on. There will be no atoning with the enemies. The devil is our open enemy and we should take him as such. Then there's the hidden enemy among the righteous seeking whom he may devour feeding on the flesh of his brother to the delight of those who have eyes but have turned a blind eye. Those whose hearts are corrupted playing the game of the evil influencer. Get back to Elijah. Only he can turn your hearts back. Allah gave him the proof and the keys. Leave your mark, black man. The time of this world is up. Leave your mark. Move from this point to this point and remain in motion. Get active. Remain in motion. The hereafter is a continuation of this present life. Let's survive this war and rule this planet. Only one will survive, and that one, the people who make up that one, is guided by the two. The two guiding lights, part two. Thank you for listening. Brother Clarence Sex, Cleveland. Assalamu alaikum. This space was downloaded via spacesdown.com. Visit to download your spaces today.